Sagittarius gang. So if you obviously have me on Twitter, then you saw that we won the poll. Um, and I'm really just going to order from the percentage. Um, if you're new here, hi. My name is B. Um, if you're accustomed to being here, welcome back. Um, if you're accustomed to being here, you probably also have me on Twitter. <laughs> so that means you already know why we're here, what's to talk about. And like I said, I'm going to just go in order. If you know, Twitter has the little poll. They give you the percentage. I just wrote all of the percentages down. And I'm just not going to just die in order. Um, I think I'm going to only do three. If I kind of got some extra energy, I'll do Virgo. Um, but for right now, we're Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Cancer. And we just going to stick with them. Okay. Um, <laughs> check down below in the description box for anything you need. Share. Like. Send us into the algorithm. Leave me some comments. If this resonated, make sure you subscribe. If this resonates, um, join our family. Check down below. Join our Patreon for all of our extended and extra additional content. I am teaching tarot, so make sure you drop down below in the description box if you want to learn tarot or just want to pull for yourself. Or blah, 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 blah. Um, and we're growing. You know what I mean? So just join our family. <laughs> join our community. This is going to be for Sagittarius placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates, cool. If it don't, then I don't have a cookie for you and I really don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'm not the reader for you or maybe you just need to check out another video, okay? Um, I am tired. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I have been up all night trying to get content done, but I've been feeling real good, you know? I've been getting shit done. So, we're going to do this how we did last time. A nice little quick one, two, one, two, one check in. Um, I'm going to start with one of these and then I pull a couple of Oracle cards. Okay. I don't want this to be too long. This is a quick little one. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And I want to go ahead and get it up out of here. I'm tired. I'm ready to eat it again and just go back to bed. So, yeah. Um, give me my Oracle card for Sagittarius placements. But what do we need to know? Which I think is funny because we really tied with Virgo. But, like, I'm biased. And I don't apologize. So, yeah, it it gave Sagittarius if I had to pick. It just did. Okay, so you do have the moon card. We have the moon card. So this is the time right now to look a little deeper than the surface, okay? Um, things could de definitely be hidden. I know we did just have the um, full moon lunar eclipse last night, or should I say like yesterday, since it's the sun isn't back up yet but um we did just have the lunar eclipse in taurus yesterday today so there could be a need to look a little deeper underneath the surface um yeah i'm hearing um <laughs> i heard that twice actually i heard it earlier today um where it's like things objects in the mirror are not uh, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear and i just heard um objects or things situations are not as they appear you know what i mean um, so of course take that for high resonate. I know I heard that earlier today. I think I was doing fire signs or something when it's just like, you know, objects in the mirror are a lot closer than they appear. And you know, a lot of things that you see aren't really as they appear. You know what I mean? Like, like everything that glitter ain't gold. You know what I mean? Something ain't clean in the milk. It, just cause it look like sugar don't mean it is sugar. It could be salt. You know what I mean? So this is the time to make sure you're looking a little bit deeper than the surface. Um, five is here and I am seeing 333 on my timestamp as the time. So I am seeing like there could be some visions, some dreams. The moon card is also giving me visions and dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what you're dreaming about when you go to sleep. Um, because that could be revealing what the real intent or what the real nature of something is. Um, bottom of the deck here, we do have the meditation card. So meditation also might be really, really good for you as well to kind of see below the veil or to understand something a little bit deeper. Um, to give you a little example of what I mean, um, I kind of had a hiccup as well, kind of with this full moon energy where I was kind of just feeling real conflicted emotionally, where it was like, I know what I want, but then I know what I'm feeling and it's kind of conflicting with one another. Excuse me. I feel like I've been burping and hiccuping all night. That's so annoying. But I did go to bed on a super full stomach. So I guess I should probably stop doing it. Um, <laughs> but I was tired. And the wings was good as fuck. That was exactly what I needed in my life. Um, anyway. I do feel like, uh, again, with me, like, I had to take a quick meditation. And it's like, I didn't really understand, I guess, why I had to be in a certain space in my life. Um... And even with a, a quick meditation, I feel like it really recalibrated me for me to look a little deeper 
than what was. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I'm always ranting about my love life because my love life is really the only area of my life that ever gives me any real problems. <laughs> like, it's never my finances. It's never my business. It's never some real shit that's actually important. It's always romance. And I just, I kind of be getting in spaces where it's like, I'm tired of always dealing with that, right? I'm tired of always having to be flustered by romance. Like, send the shit away or let it come the fuck on. But like, I'm I'm tired of being conflicted. I'm tired of feeling conflicted. I'm tired of trying to fight to have faith, right? If you, again, if you have me on Twitter, then you kind of caught a little bit of that. Um, but I feel like it took for me to, ground myself calm myself go into a meditation to say okay what what is going on you know what I mean and I had to look a little bit deeper than just the surface and I I understand that I don't feel like for me this is about conflicting emotions as much as it is just I'm in a long learning curve I feel like I've been in this learning curve for a good minute now and it's very annoying and draining and I'm really over this process, but I think that alone is the point. You know what I mean? Like even for myself, and I'm going to try to make this pretty quick because I don't want to ramble, but I'm very much either come the fuck on or get the fuck on. You know what I mean? It's not really an in-between. And I think for me, again, something that I had to look a little bit deeper on and really understand and get up under the veil to really look at for myself was you need to have a gray area. Like I, I, I know that about myself, but that's something I'm still learning where it's like, I can be so black and white where it actually hurts me more than anything instead of just finding a gray area. Right. And even in this particular situation, I had to remind myself like, yeah, this is somebody I want to be with. And even though I'm not interested in holding my breath, at all and waiting on no man or should I say little ass boy because I really have yet to meet a man if I'm just no tea no shade just being honest um I don't have time for little boys right so I usually but it's like I don't have time for a lot of shit but I also move very fast right but I'm learning in this learning curve where it's like oh so I'm being made to learn how to slow down and I think that's what the key is, where it's like, we need you to learn that before anything can move forward in any other occasions and any other faucets. I'm going to turn this off because, shut up. Um, <laughs> my fucking emails be blinking off the hook. But it's like, that's the thing for me, where it's like, you can be so bring it here and hurry up or get the fuck on away from me to where you need to learn how to just kind of let it come naturally. You know what I mean? Because that is how you get yourself in situations where it's like you want a man who can cultivate a safe space to where you know that you can just be yourself and still be loved for who you are and not have to water yourself down, not have to feel like you got to change yourself. But then you want the shit to hurry up. And it's like, we need you to learn how to slow it down. You know what I mean? Really learn how to gauge people, right? Learn how to gauge situations, gauge uh, uh, interactions to see if this is somebody who really can't give you that safe space for real for real or are you just in such a dire need for something romantically to where you just completely forget about the fact that you need a safe space <laughs> right how you gonna make a house a home with a nigga and then it's like you don't have that safe space you know what I mean so it, it, I feel like that's kind of like the same vibe a little bit I hope that wasn't rambling too much but I feel like that's it's kind of like this type of vibe where it's like Sagittarius you might be needing to look a little bit up under the veil Try some meditation, you know what I mean? Get some quiet time, grounding time, whether it be by some water in the woods, uh, even or even if it's just on the front porch, because I'm very much a front porch connoisseur. It ain't got really hot in here. It's crazy. I can be a very front porch connoisseur, so even if you just get outside in the sun, you need to make sure that you're meditating so you can really see the bigger picture of what's being asked to change or what's being changed um, because this can also be changes up under the veil that needs to be made or changes happening up under the veil that you don't know about but you just need to be encouraged and to stay patient if not just stay patient shit just stay encouraged give me something for yeah give me something for Sagittarius we have the envy card here we have the strength card reversed 
rest and rejuvenation. So there is double emphasis on meditation. So what you need to know, Sagittarius, during this time is you need to meditate. Meditation will be your best friend, especially when it comes to this full moon, lunar eclipse, and Taurus type of energy. Okay. Um, patience is also down at the bottom of the deck as well. Um, I feel like that's probably my spiritual team trying to take a jab at me because, girl, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> um, but we do have envy, right? So this is also, again, uh, a card to indicate, you know, we can get real wrapped up on thinking real negative, right? And even though Sagittarius, we can be very positive and optimistic sometimes. We can also be very negative sometimes, right? That's that undeveloped um, Sagittarian energy or that, that uh, lack of a balanced polarity, right? We can be overly optimistic sometimes and sometimes we can be not optimistic enough, right? Um, especially when faced with the unknown, you know what I mean? Sagittarius, we can always be a very, I want to know, you know what I mean? Like I have to know everything. Like before I even can feel good about it, I got to know. And it's like, nope, that's what the rest of rejuvenation is for. That's what meditation is for. You know what I mean? You, some shit is not meant for us to know. We can't know everything. We can't figure everything out. Um, so it's like you, some shit has to be hidden with this moon card, right? Some shit has to be up under the veil. Some shit can't be so surface level all the time, right? This, um, also can be indicative even just using it for an example, right? Where it's like, we have to hide some things because, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's a part of the growth. Like if you knew everything it was for us to know Sagittarius would we ever even do the growth work no if we didn't have to be forced to be patient would we ever learn patience no <laughs> you know what I mean like and we can be some very impatient people but it's like that has to be broken down you can't like rush into everything you know what I mean um even if this is romantic right you know sometimes people be hot and shit you know what I mean sometimes this ain't even you uh, with the veil sometimes it's like you know people be high and shit so even a message for myself a message for you know maybe some future friends maybe you out here also trying to look for love you know what i'm saying taurus is ruled by venus you know uh also ruled by the throat so maybe you've been articulating to your spiritual team like hey i really want you know what i'm saying i think i'm really ready for somebody i think i'm really ready for something you know what i mean and it's like okay you know what i'm saying i'm ready for a family i'm ready to settle down or whatever that look like you know and it's like okay but people be lying <laughs> you know what I mean? People be lying. So how are we going to properly make sure that this this is a family, that this is family, right? And this ain't nobody that's bullshit. I, intuitively, I'm picking up friends. So for some of you, this could also be friend related where it's like some people that you think is your family really jealous of you. You know what I mean? And that shit really up under the veil. But you will never know it until you can really sit down and get grounded. Maybe this isn't romance, but maybe you really just got some shit going on with your friend group. You know? Or maybe you want friends. Maybe you trying to manifest a sense of community, family, friends with some people. And it's like, well, dang, God, I feel like I've been asking for friends for so long. Like, am I just not meant to have friends? It's like, no, you're going to have them, right? Stay strong. Stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Strength card reverse. So this is going to be a time where you really going to have to fight through. You're going to have to fight through your teeth, fight through some frustration, all of that. Fight to stay encouraged, fight to have faith, right? But maybe there's a lesson that you need to know about having friends isn't the problem. But how are you identifying? Wow. Okay. But how are we identifying these friends, right? How are we identifying uh, the haters, who, who really be out here only trying to get close to you and be your friend because they see you on some shit. But then their atten intentions are hidden, right? How are we sniffing out these people? How are we allowing meditation um, and, and slow movement, right? You can't just jump into the friend group because you want friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't just jump into the friend group because you want a sense of community, because you want a sense of family. But how are we really making sure that these people align with our best interest at heart and with our moral values. You do have two sevens here as well out on the field um, with the 25 and the 16. So I do feel like self-encouragement is very, very important right now. You have two fives in front of me as well, 50 and 50. So I do feel like changes are happening for you, Sagittarius. I don't know if you've been looking for them or if you kind of just been like me and it's like, okay, I'm kind of tired of looking for the changes because I feel like they just not coming at this point. Um, 
So now I'm ready to make my own change. And that's why patience is very important. Okay. You actually have three sevens. The command card also has a seven at the top of it. So seven, seven, seven is very much important. Good karma is on your side. Luck is on your side. Good things are coming in for you. So please don't think negatively. Okay. This is not the time to be thinking negatively. It's going to take a lot of strength for you to turn around and look at the light behind you instead of the darkness that feels like it's in front of you. Some of you could definitely be in the dark right now with this veil card. You could be the one being left in the dark right now where it's like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, I don't know if I'm going to come and I don't know if I'm left or right. God, I'm just confused. Meditation. Meditation, 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 and meditation look different for everybody. I'm not saying sit down, crisscross applesauce like the Buddhist monk, and I'm also not saying, um, goddamn hum and all of that shit. Whatever cleaning can be meditation, going for a walk, uh, actual meditation, um, riding out in nature, um, doing something that just mellows you out and calms you out, period. You know what I mean? Taking a fucking nap can be meditation. If taking a nap recalibrates you and you know that you wake up feeling different and you feel whole and you feel rejuvenated and you feel good, like you back in alignment, take your ass to sleep. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Take your ass to sleep. Get you some rest. Okay, Sagittarius. But that has been your message. Again, self-encouragement is going to be really, really big. There are a lot of changes, whether it be changes happening to you or changes happening around you. Whether you're aware of these changes or not, they are happening. Okay. But sometimes we have to be left out in the dark. Sometimes we have to um, be left out of, of of what's going on. Sometimes we, we have to look deeper than the surface um, to really look at the answer. Okay. Thank you again so much. Give me a thumbs up if this resonated. Definitely leave me some comments. Subscribe um, to our channel. Okay. Our family and our community is definitely growing. Um, drop down below if you want to book a personal reading or if you want to join our Patreon. And until next time, I'll talk to you beautiful people later. <laughs>